Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Ryan again. I've got a quick tutorial. Um, I had to work on this project where I had to create some carbon fiber uh, in Illustrator, a, a carbon fiber pattern. And so I'm going to show you how I did that. Um, and actually I'm going to improve it based on uh, some things that I've, I've figured out uh, since then. All right, so here we go. Um, I'm going to do, like I said, something similar to that. So we're going to start with a blank document. Uh, it doesn't matter what size. <clears throat> um, before I do that though, I want to take a look at some pictures. We've got a couple of different styles of carbon fiber. They've got this style that here that has um, just one, one strand going vertically, one strand going horizontally. Well, not strand, but you know, um, it, it's, yeah, it's a strand of, of different carbon threads in it. Um, so we'll, we'll call it a strand. <laughs> they're, they're woven together horizontally, vertical, one-to-one <clears throat> -one like that. There's uh, this other style where it's like, um, looks like two going across uh, one. And, and you can tell, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. You can see the imperfections, how it's, it's a little loose because there's room in here for this other this other strand to show through in these in these places so we'll add some of this variation to it um, this one is a little tighter um, but again it it's just that same pattern it's just shown at a different angle so um, where you want to hit the uh, have the gradient what direction we want the, the gradient to show the light is uh, is up to you um, this one is kind of just showing that um, this one has a, a highly reflective version or a strand going horizontally and then completely, I did not scroll that time, totally didn't. Okay, uh, completely black, non-reflective going the other way. <clears throat> and you can see that it's, it's skipping two going this way, skipping two going this way. Um, so this is just another another uh, photo that shows, you know, the the stretch or, or one strand being stretched, you know, under two strands. So there you go. All right, let's get back to Illustrator. Okay, so we're going to need a rectangle, and we'll go to the rectangle tool, and just click, uh, and we'll do a two to one on this first one. Um, <laughs> You can see I already have my pattern in there. Let's well, cheating, cheater. Okay, no cheating. Um, so we're going to start with black, um, except we'll go with a gradient. Um, let's change that gradient so that both both sides are black, and then we'll add one at 50%, and we'll bring that one up to. Kind of a medium, a medium gray, medium dark gray. Actually, how about this ninety? I like that right there. Okay, we'll do that one. Um, we'll add another color in here at uh, thirty, and we will up that one to just a little bit. A little bit near that one, not not quite the same color, just just a couple of uh, percentage points up from it, and then we'll actually drag, holding Alt, and drop that one at 70. Fine, we'll do it. Do it manually. Okay, so those two should match, and then you've got that. All right, so um, now we can copy. And we're going to go and just alternate this right on center. And this is more of a loose weave. So go back to our photos. It was this bottom one that I have here. Um, it's not quite going to be overlapped like this. Um, and then we'll see, we'll see some black underneath it. So let's take this one and repeat it up here. 
and I have smart guides turned on so that's what you see these magenta lines showing up and then I guess I could just grab two at a time and drop them in their position and uh, let's see I think that that may be close enough yeah so now we can make a square uh, grab the rectangle tool and we'll go where it intersects with this one here and we'll come here and drag a square to the bottom of that and let's knock out the fill so we can just see the outline of that that square and um, we're going to I guess I don't need that one because it's off to the side we're going to mask these uh, these layers here we're using our square as a clipping mask so first what we want to do though is make a copy of this actually we can just send it backwards well let's copy it first so copy and then command on a Mac control on a PC and holding down those and shift and the left bracket command shift left bracket Control shift left bracket should send it all the way to the back if you don't want to use your shortcut keys You can just go up to object arrange set to back right there And then we're going to fill this with black So make sure you're on the fill hit the black there it is Okay, so that is our our basic pattern. We're going to paste in front so control F on a PC command F on a Mac um Oops, forgot one thing. Undo that. We're not pasting in front yet. We're going to make this a group. So Control G. Well, first drag a selection, get everything all using the selection tool, or you can just simply do Control A. But I'm doing it this way in case you have something else on your board. Uh, so that and do Control G or Command G on a Mac, and then Control G F or Command F on a Mac, and then select that holding down shift so we still have our, our square that we just pasted in front and hold down shift to select our group behind it and then control 7 or command 7 and now we have our awesome little pattern and if you want to test it before we run it all over to the uh, the pattern generation there just uh, you can see that it makes a nice a nice pattern. Um, there is some problem I see. Um, this gets cut off at the end. So um, we're going to have to redo this. And it won't take a whole lot. So I, I double click to get into the clip group. Or you could just simply select it, right click and do isolate clipping mask. And then we have our group. So we're going to um, we can actually ungroup that would be the best option here and then select each of these and we're just going to drag them over to the side and then drag them up to the center that should probably do it but now we need to replicate this one into the front and we need this one to tr come down here and that one to repeat over here make sure it's on that line okay basically I should have just moved my my square behind it first Okay, now we can try it. Looks like a nice repetition. One more time. Seems to flow well that way. See how it looks this direction. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so there's our there's our carbon fiber pattern. Um, you can do some variation if you would like to have the alternating, you know, the highlights only going one way. 
rather than both directions like this and that would be a simple function of uh, when you make your pattern make sure that um, one of your gradients has you know just a lighter let's go to 80 bring those to 90 or 88, 85, something in there, 87, I guess. And then you'd simply just uh, eyedropper tool and you could hold down Alt and it will paste that gradient in here. And then you can come in with uh, the other direction and make that one darker. Up, oh, I've left it. Okay, here we go. Um, eyedropper and paste that in there. So now you've got the alternating, you know, colors. And that's how it looks on the test, which is, again, similar to this, this pattern here. Um, so that's, that's the first one. And then once once you are ready with with that, then you come over to your swatches. Well, first first um, you're going to want to scale it to whatever uh, you're going to fill it with. So, for example, if your if your shape is a, a rectangle like this size, and you don't want it, um, you know, you don't want it to be this big. You want it to be really small comparatively you can uh, just grab that clipping mask make your your uh, pattern whoops I'm sorry new no, undo undo uh, make it smaller so if it's gonna fit like that because remember it's carbon fiber so it's it's going to be small compared to your your big shape that you're working with so I'm gonna go like uh, say that size drag that in as my shape and then I'll click this and use that as my fill and why didn't it do what I wanted it to do that's unfortunate I think it's trying to steal that clipping mask and and go around there so what you want to do is change the shape of your pattern and we're doing size tile to art and we'll click done and there you go got a nice carbon fiber pattern that you created by yourself and you're so awesome okay so that's the first one um, let's uh, move that up out of the way um, I'm going to continue to use these 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 uh, squares though because they'll come in handy so I'm going to release the clipping mask and uh, actually move that over that way all right just for reference I'm going to come in here to my photo and just copy that and paste it in here so I have something to look at it's gonna sit over there okay so as you look at it we've got uh, a horizontal and then right at the end of the horizontal we've got a vertical and then at each end of the horizontal we've got a vertical so that's what we'll do with this. Let's move everything up out of the way. In fact, let's just get rid of that for now. Okay, so we've got a horizontal. And at the end of the horizontal, that's the lighter horizontal. We don't want that one. Um, let's do a vertical. And so we can just align right there smart guides on to keep it straight okay now there's that um, and we can copy each of these and hold down alt as we drag so we get this kind of effect
Oops, that didn't make it. There we go. And so that, that'll take care of the our repetition. Um, but let's uh, grab it again and come over here. Oops. Let's get everything except these verticals. And that way we can get it like that. Okay. So now that we have uh, a nice base to work from, uh, let's go again with our rectangle tool. And we'll come, we're going to start at the top of a dark corner here, holding down our shift. And we'll come to the top of another dark corner right there. And that should give us a good solid, a good solid pattern. So any of these that are off to the side, we won't need those. We don't need that one. We don't need these ones. Whoops, we will need that one. Oops, sorry. Getting, getting ahead of myself. Okay, so then, you know, we can hold down, uh, or do a control cut, or I guess, um, yeah, let's cut it. We'll group everything else and then paste in front and then hold down shift to select the group also and then make that clipping mask. Okay, so now here is this this pattern and this is a much tighter weave than that one. You can see this one has the gaps in between, um, but this is just representative and, and then I can show you what to do if you want to get something like that. Um, so we'll resize it down to something that we want, say that size, drag it in as our pattern. We'll have to double click. Well, first let's, uh, let's make a copy of our new pattern and we'll fill it with that. Turn the stroke off. Anyway, uh, back to the pattern. Um, double click that pattern and t size tile to art. Click done and there you go. Okay, I goofed up. How did I goof up? Oh, I know why. So let's click it, double click, and we're gonna do, instead of a grid, we're gonna do brick by row. Nope, nope, what are we gonna do? So the problem is my, my square doesn't cover the, the other half of this this uh, block right there. So let's uh, let's 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 just we'll we'll back up a little bit. Zoom out. Undo. 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 And keep going. Okay. So we've got this. Um, let's release the clipping mask because that's part of our problem. So when we um, when I deleted stuff, I'm just gonna go there. We go, there we go. Um, so you see how our square doesn't have the repetition of this side. So let's just grab one of these, paste it there. And we can, we can either paste that one down there or skip it, but uh, here is what we're going to do. We're just going to make our square larger, and we need to put one of these up here. So that now we start, and we're, we're, we're basically looking for um, four parts, or four widths, because we have a, t a double width. A rectangle here, a single width rectangle here, a single here. So one plus two plus one is four. So going this way on our square, two plus one plus one is four, if that makes sense. So that means we're going four in square diagonally, we're going four vertically and horizontally in all directions. So let's get rid of now these ones that we won't need and we'll we, that should 
this is this is correct because we should end up with one on each side just like that so um, I'm going to uh, let's cut that square make our group again paste in front select the group make a clipping mask and and if I'm going too fast I'm sorry it, it's the same process the same steps I just outlined on the other one and just did uh, previously with with my mistake okay let's go a little smaller so that they're about the same size as that one let's copy this one down so we have something to work from paste our new pattern and make that our fill and as expected this is going to happen and the reason again is because of these shapes these pieces of artwork that are sticking out past the uh, the clipping mask so double click it size tile to art click done boom there you go so you've got two patterns there two different uh, carbon fiber patterns um, now as far as detail, you could really you could really add some variation. Uh, again, looking at here, you've got some spots where the gradient goes way more than half, and it kind of uh, starts to go into black over just a, near the corner, or you have up here where it just barely gets any highlight at all, and then goes into black. So we can we can do that. Let's let's do that as a as a, uh, a third option down here. So I'll just zoom in because it's a vector and I don't have to worry about resizing. So again, um, let's uh, release our clipping mask. Well, I guess we can just leave that there. Um, undo the group, so Command Shift G or Control Shift G and then we can double click on one of our gradients and just move everything so that it's really really spreading out that that highlight and we can even change the angle if we want grab our gradient tool have it uh, go in this general direction like that And then, of course, um, eyedropper, holding Alt, drop it onto these other ones. Except the thing is going to be that they um, don't have that same direction. So we'll we'll just we'll just make copies. Okay. And then you can either leave that or, you know, like this one has a little brighter highlight up in the corner. So let's do that. So we'll put it, we'll put it in that same corner. Or actually, it, it looks like it's the opposite corner. So whereas this one has the highlight toward this side, we're going to do the highlight up there. Is that what I want? No. I want it over here. No, I do want it over there because it's, it's turned my brain I'm trying to figure this out okay so we'll double click that um, make this brighter I think that was about a 80 85 maybe just give it a I, I like the 80 okay and then we'll drag it I'm just gonna remove that one drag that over there and bring that one up a little bit to there just you know I'm just going by eyeball um, change our gradient so that it flows that direction. In fact, let's go off the off the edge and stretch it out a little more. Okay, and then we'll delete these ones and we'll paste that one in there. And that was a command D, control D on a PC to just to duplicate that. Let me show you what I, what I could have done. I could have just taken this one hold down alt to drag the first time and then when it snaps in place then I can just D twice I mean it could go on forever but I don't need to okay um, so now we have let's do our group but we will deselect that path that's in front make that group paste in front 
That didn't do it. Where? Oh, I know why. That's what I want. That's my group. Paste in front. Hold down Shift. F7, or Control 7, and that makes our new pattern. And it's the same size because I didn't really change it that much. So I'm going to drag that in as my carbon fiber number three. We'll double click it, hit the size tile to art, click done, and then make that our fill. So now let's, uh, let's put these all next to each other so you can see what they look like. And there you have it, three different carbon fiber, and, and it's the woven carbon fiber, it's not the ends, like sometimes you'll see the hexagonal shape. Um, and so this is, these are three different patterns that you can do fairly easily um, and uh, use them for your, for your artwork. Um, obviously you can change, um, change the gradients in each of the little squares. You can add variation going across the, the whole pattern. You can do all sorts of things, um, but that should give you an idea to uh, help you out, give it a little personalization. This one looks a little bit more organic than, than these other two. These ones just look like, you know, like I did them in Illustrator, <laughs> which I did, but you know, and then you can add space in it like, uh, you know, some of these other ones where it's got the, the weave that has where it has these uh, these variations. So anyway, um, if you like this, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more Illustrator tutorials and some other software. And I am working hard to get some more uh, content out. Um, I appreciate the fact that uh, as I look at my channel, um, we've got we've got over. 1100 subs now you guys are so awesome um, I appreciate it and uh, I, I hope to get more more content out to you so thanks a lot we'll see you next time